Alrighty guys, so it seems like y'all really enjoying this series, just even from the first part. So I will keep spamming more videos. Anyway guys, welcome back again to Mafia 3 Story Missions. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part, man. Because like I said just uh, about two seconds ago, like, I see that y'all really liking this series. So I will keep spamming guys towards the ending. I heard that this game is, uh, I don't know, I think like 40 hours long. I'm not sure. I, I may be wrong, but y'all can uh, defend me if y'all want but um, I'm going to keep this game going, guys. And after this series is over, I'm going to start up a new series. Um, that should around, be around the time Agony drops. I don't know. But just love y'all. Just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep spamming. Sorry for the long winningness, and let's do this. Here we go. So, guys, if I suck doing this stuff, you know, I just got to get with use of the controls. Oh, wait. What the freak you doing, buddy? So, yeah, guys, it's just like all the other games. Dang, I shot two of them. I know y'all saw that. What are you doing? Freak out of here. Let's go, boy. I like the shooting in the game, guys. It really is good. All right, so what else they got? They got pistol ammo. Is that all of them? Oh, shoot. There's a guard right there. Hold up. What are you doing? Frick out of here. Dang, I shot him in the back. All right, you can aim assist to low, high, or turn off. To set aim assist, press the... The uh, pa uh the pause button. All right, that makes sense. God damn, we sure kicked the hardest nigga this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit up. Oh snap, guys! This. I see a light machine gun. Y'all see that? Fuck. Holy freaking crap! Fuck. Come on, oh, man. we about to wreak havoc. Probably the guard guard gate uh armor gate open. Goodness, I can't speak thing. today, guys. Holy crap! Come on, Leakin, open the door. All right, here we go. Step one, expose the lock. Rotate S until, I mean R, I mean L, until the green zone, then press X. Goodness, I cannot freaking speak today. All right. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. Oh, wait. There it is. Ah, perfect. All righty, guys. We did it. On the first try, that was actually pretty interesting. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, snap, guys. We're using a light machine gun. Holy frick. We about to do this? What do you mean smoke? Shit, man. These guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't be they shit. They threw smoke down there. Are you kidding? Ball, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Wait a minute. I think I saw a health pack back there, guys. Let me go ahead and pick this up real quick. Because I think there is one. Oh, what the frick? Well, Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. caught up crossing the bridge don't worry about it excuse me sir i'm looking for my stepbrother lincoln clay you seen him he used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late kiss my ass <laughs> there he is <laughs> <laughs> how was the trip be as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go what to do or how to do it it was fucking great <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. 
She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. Alrighty guys, we're driving again. Holy crap. Set a route, press um the start button to open the map, then press eight at your destination. What happened to the bank robbery? I don't know what happened, but uh Oh snap, let me go and close it. Alright, so where we gotta go? Do we have to go anywhere or what? Do we just gotta set something? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Alright, on the map. Oh wait, so we do gotta go over there. Hold up. Dang, how far is it? Dang, it's all the way over here, guys. Let's do this. Here we go. So it almost seems like, guys, I mean, this game is really good so far. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, you know, it was really good. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Now, guys, I heard us also, too. They keep talking. God damn it, man. I'm trying to talk, but I can't. It'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. All right, police awareness. The police will attack if you commit crimes, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws within range of their awareness. Oh, so that means I can't. So that means I can run a. I can't run a red light. Oh my God, that makes no dang sense. Sure. All right, hold up. They moved up to Empire Bay years so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. So they're making this game realistic, man. It really is. So it's not like GTA when you can run red lights. You really can't do that in this game. You can, but if you want to get stopped by the cops. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I'm never told about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Egg up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. All right, guys, we're almost there. Let's do this. All right. About 50 meters away. All right, it looks... Oh, snap. Did y'all see that drift? I actually did that smoothly. Holy crap. All right, let's exit the vehicle. So we gotta go in here. Here we go. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so, so proud of you. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. <laughs> good to see you. You're so good. <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. 
healed. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, that whiskey's going to in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm going to take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you want to crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. So, guys, I still want to know what happened to the, um... To the federal reserve robbery i guess this is going back in time i'm not sure but finally we can be able to speak guys let's go to bed we gotta go to sleep or something why well, get the small little bed i don't understand that anyway let's go and sleep guys i like the time last that's pretty cool it's just like in uh assassin's creed and we finally woken up Alrighty guys, talk to Sammy about and Ellis. Let's do this. So we just had to sleep overnight over here, so we pretty much good. But yeah, guys, like the gaming graphics of this game is just so freaking unreal. Like, I'm actually very um liking the graphics in this game. It looks good, so that's the one thing I like about the game. And the shooting is a lot more realistic. I'm just saying it's a lot more realistic GTA, but you know, GTA is different. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. Like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Lincoln a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> He told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal.
Alrighty guys, Warm Hearts Neighborhood Kitchen. So yeah, anytime there's a loading screen, guys, if I have to transition that out, I right, hold up. I right, go down on their own. Alrighty guys, let's Father uh, Father James, let's do this. Not yet. Gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. I gotta start serving, man. Can this be another video, guys? I don't know, guys. Let me start on another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just remember, drop a like and hit that sub button, guys. I, I'm about to serve gumbo. And actually, to be honest, guys, have you ever tried gumbo? It is the best food in the world. It really is. But I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. Anyway, guys, catch y'all guys in the next video. Peace.